Hey YouTube, it's Fix It With Biscuit here, and uh, we're already doing some flint napping. Um, gonna make sure that you got your leather for your legs. I got a couple pieces that I've had. It covers my legs, so for the most part, it doesn't cover all of it. Um, your uh, leather for your hand to hold on to, and this here is a knife blade that I'm working on and uh, I'm trying to straighten up the ridge here uh, trying to bring it over this way so it's all straight and I'm, I, you know, I'm not very very good at it you know uh, um, this is my very first knife blade that I've started so I'll show you um, how you do pressure flaking and you want to hold your uh, blade in here and you want to make sure that you put pressure all the way along you don't want to put pressure here more than here because if you do and you're pushing a flake here most likely it's going to break in the middle so you want you want to make sure that um, there's pressure evenly distributed throughout the whole thing and um, so we'll just go ahead and run a flake right here you want to push in push in on it and push down push in and push down so you're kinda pushing and and then see that flaked this off here which this flake, I don't know if you can see this on camera or not, but that flake went right there and it broke it off. And then you just throw that off to the side and you can see how it brought the flake all the way down to here. And so we'll just do a few of these. push in and, and what you want to make sure is on uh, on this here when you take some flakes off you'll need to use uh, an abrader a lot of people use uh, stone to abrade uh, rough stone like river rock and stuff like that but I'm using a um, grinding wheel I broke up and you just want to braid it like this and what that does is it takes off the uh, real real soft spots so and I'll uh, show you that here let me show you with a different piece because I don't want to mess up on this right here see how it's got real real sharp edges and I'll try to run a flake with that sh uh, sharp edges so I can show you that what happens and you see that little itty bitty flake there that happens or it just crushes the end like that and it slips off and you get nothing but if you take your braider and you abrade that edge off like this and you want to get it rough so you can see here now it's not sharp at all and it's rough so when you put your pressure flaker on there you push in and down and it ran a big flake from here all the way to there and then we'll, I'll do another one on here. And then see a lot bigger flake, and it ran all the way up here too. And we'll do one more. But there, there's a real good flake. See, and that one came from here and it ran it all the way up to there.
see. And that, that's a pretty good flake. And that's that's why you need to uh, have an abrader so you can abrade the edges um, to get real nice long flakes. Oh. Got a little bit between my fingers. But, um, yeah. So now that's abrading. That's what abrading is. And... What I'm trying to do is, and I'm not very good at it, like I said, trying to move this edge over um, this way, on, over to the this side, and make it more pronounced of a straight edge, and oops, there we go. You gotta remember to push in pretty hard and down. In and down. And sometimes, yeah, there. Some nice good long flakes. And you can see how it's it's bringing, when I flake it on this uh, this way, it's bringing that blade this way. And it's narrowing this channel down. So. I'll bring it this way quite a bit and then I'll work it back and uh, what it does is it thins out this section here as far you know don't I'm not no professional at this this is my opinions uh, on this if anybody knows better than I do and I'm doing something wrong comment let me know give me uh, pointers but I'll have some more videos of uh, starting um starting one of these from and what I started this from was a slab I cut you know that was uh I think the slab was a little smaller than this one but yeah this is my very first knife blade that I'm making it's just going to be a small little short knife blade um it's not going to be the nicest one but I like it and I'm still on the hunt for some deer antler uh, or elk or um, I, I just haven't been able to find any but stay tuned YouTube and thanks for watching I mean I really appreciate it and uh, we'll have some more videos on this uh, you know um, I got some big rocks here too I do not know how to take one of these rocks and make um, a big I think it's called a biface a bi you know a biface I believe that's what it's called like I said I'm just learning the you know this uh, I'm completely new at this I'm a beginner I've only been doing it for um, a couple days so um, I'm doing my research trying to figure out what it the uh, terms uh, are what's called what so yeah stay tuned with and learn with me or laugh at me or <laughs> whatever but thank you guys for watching <laughs>